What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother19 here back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo-wee. Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing excellent. Hope everybody had a beautiful day. Well, real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you. God cares about you. Cash your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus died so we can live and live life more abundantly. Okay? Stay prayed up, you guys. <clears throat> I don't care what the doctor may have said to you or said about you and everything. I don't care what your family may have said or said about you. Jesus have the last say, so you guys, okay? Hold your head up and dry those tears up. Okay? This ain't no time for you to give up. Keep pushing, y'all. It's it's hard out here. It's frustrating out here. Frustration out here. You guys, you know, jobs are closing up. Stuff is, you know, these wars and stuff breaking off and everything. Just keep your hand in God's hand. God said it'd be this way before he returned. Jesus said it'd be this way. Okay? Keep pushing, you guys. Keep going. If you lost a loved one out here, understand something. They're in a better place. In the hands of Jesus, they're in heaven. If you maintain the faith and obedience one day, you will see them. Okay? Keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Never give up on your dream. Okay? People may give up on you, but it's imperative you don't give up on yourself. Remember, it's about what you think about you that matters most. Don't worry about what somebody else think about you. Okay? People are temporary. Okay? So don't worry about what somebody else think about you. It's about what you think about yourself. About yourself and everything. Keep going, you guys. Okay? The battle is not over yet. You keep going. You keep pushing and everything. This ain't no time for you to give up. There's no time for you to throw in the towel. I don't care. You may have just lost your job or you know, broke up with your wife or broke up with your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be and everything. Understand some trials and tribulations come in our life to make us stronger. Whatever don't kill you, make you stronger. And understand some of the lessons that we learn in life is to build us to be better people. Okay? So always understand that. You're going to get knocked down in life. You're going to get beat up in life. But it's imperative for you to get back up. It's apparent for you. It's apparent for you and everything to get back up and keep fighting. All right, God got a blessing with your name on it and everything. Hold your head up. I don't care what people say about you. You are somebody. Hold your head up. You can get through this. You can make it. That dream can come to pass if you keep going. All right, in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, you guys. Your first time tuning tuning into my channel. Please understand, so I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, real with you, raw, unedited, and uncut. Okay? This ain't nothing nobody gave me to tell you. This ain't something I'm acting on paper. This ain't something I wrote down on paper. This is coming straight from my heart to you guys. Okay? I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I have no heaven or hell to put you in. Okay? But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Once you know better, you should do better. All right? <clears throat> Somebody said some negative to you about my channel. Please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negativity. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on somewhere. We're about real shit on this channel, not bullshit. Now, if you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, y'all. do apologize. A little bit tired. I did a nap after this. I wanted to put this out. I know it's been a minute since I actually sat down and you know, did one of these, but I got a good one for you today. All right, y'all. Topic of conversation is today. It is called, you have the right to remain corrupt. I repeat, you have the right to remain corrupt. Of course, I'm talking about police officers. You guys, let me explain something to you. Listen to me very well. Okay. A lot of police officers for the ones that it applies to you, applies to, and everything. A lot of them, their job is to protect and serve. They do have a dangerous job and they do deal with dangerous criminals and everything as well. <clears throat> also, you guys, and everything, it's a lot of police corruption that go on. Okay? It's a lot of times police do stuff and they know damn well that the shit ain't right. They know that the shit ain't right and everything, but they feel because I'm a cop, they, they be they tight, they are being a tyrant and everything. They figure that they can get away with stuff. Understand something, you guys. When you are dealing with a police officer, do not look as, as cops as your friend, okay? Especially you look like me, okay? Again, house niggas ignore me. I'm talking about to my real ones. Again, I'm talking to the cops that it applies to. 
You have good cops, both black and white men and women, who are true to the badge, who are uh, honorable, who really do try to you know, go out of their way to try to help people and everything. For those cops, you get a huge fist up, meaning I'm proud of you and I'm happy for you. Okay, again, I don't care what race you are, woman and man, everything. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm talking about the cops who are true to the badge and not assholes, okay? But you have cops out here, okay, that will, you know, pull you and do this stuff to you. They, entire, they try to antagonize you and they try to mess with you. They try to start a problem. It, it's like they're, they're picking and they're looking for trouble, okay? They're looking for a reason and everything pretty much to mess up your day, all right? Let's, let's run through a few things what I got here. First and foremost, you guys, your First Amendment. Your First Amendment is freedom of speech, okay? Which means you have a right, as long as it's non-threatening to the officer, okay? You can't be telling the officer, I'm going to F you up, I'll blow you away and everything. Now you're making a threat to an officer. Now nine times out of ten, you about know what's going to happen. Your ass going to get taken in the jail. Pray you don't get killed. Depending on what type of officer you're dealing with. Understand something, like my dad said. It's not about the police officer. It's about which what kind of officer pull you over. Okay? Again, all cops ain't the same. Just like all people ain't the same. Okay? Real quick and everything. Make sure you know what type. Very quickly, realize and find out what type of officer you or officers that you are dealing with. And also, when a cop walks up to your car, say they pull you over and everything. You don't know why yet. When a cop walks up to your car and everything, be paying attention because they have a habit of touching your car. And feeling all on it, shining the light all through it and everything. Understand something and everything. When a cop touching your car and everything, he leaves his fingerprints on there. That way, if you do something and everything, they can actually run that fingerprint and get you. Okay? I just want to get that to you. Next thing, you guys. You have the Fourth Amendment right protects against search and seizures. Okay? A police officer cannot search your vehicle. They cannot search your house without a search warrant. They cannot seize your property and everything unless they have a warrant or probable cause. Meaning they have witnessed or have hard evidence. Now, I don't know he said, she said bullshit. But I mean hard evidence that you have committed a crime or about to commit one. They can't just walk up and say, give me your shit. That's it. They can't do that. Okay. I didn't know that year, a couple years ago. If I did, this shit wouldn't have went down that way. I explain about that in another video. Uh, let's see. A police officer. Uh, it's, I'm sorry. This is this particular piece is called police perjury, or perjury, perjury, or perjury. Is an <coughs> excuse me. Is an act of police lying to you knowingly that they're lying to you, but they're trying to make a case against you. Okay. They're trying to make a case against you. Meaning, you have police officer. I'm going to say again. It's called police perjury. Meaning, there is a police perjury is an act of policemen. They know they're lying to you, making up a story about you. They're trying to make a case against you to justify the officer's search or seizure or arrest. Okay? If you know you did not do something, if you know you didn't do something, never admit to something. Okay? If you know you didn't do something, don't admit to it. All right. Hold on. Okay. If you know, sorry about the noise. If you know you didn't do something, don't admit to it. Okay. Because you have police may tell you be quiet, shut up, and everything. You have freedom of speech. You have freedom of speech. A cop cannot take that from you. Even if you're being arrested, he cannot tell you you can't talk. They can't tell you that. If you, because what they'll do, they'll make a bullshit story. Lord knows it's black men. Now, I ain't house niggas ignore me. As black men, they do that to us all the time. They'll say, for example, oh, there's policemen going through your house right now when they got you in custody. There's policemen going through your house right now and they just said they found the drugs. No damn well they lying. If you know you didn't do something, I don't give a damn what's going on. Don't admit to something you didn't do. All right? We have something else and everything. Reasonable suspicion. A cop cannot ask you for your ID just because they want to. And you got to have a reasonable suspicion you have got to commit a crime or about to commit a crime and everything while they're pulling you, while they're asking you for your ID. It is not against the law for you to be walking around. I ain't say driving around. I said walking around with no ID. 
It is not against the law for you to do that. I tell you something else and everything. If you are a passenger in the vehicle and everything, you are not required by law, by law, not my words, by law. You are not required by law to go uh, to identify yourself to the cops. Okay. You are not required by law. Now, if y'all done done some, y'all have been in a high speed chase or some shit and everything. That That's a whole different conversation. I'm talking about just for a routine uh, traffic stop. No, you were speeding. Got a tail light out of some shit and everything. Don't identify yourself to the police. Only understand some everything, every bit of information that you give to a cop will be used against you in some form of way. So if you ain't done shit wrong, don't ID yourself. I'm just telling you that. All right. Okay. Now, another thing about reasonable suspicion is they have to be able to articulate a common sense order. I mean, they have to, again, they have to know, they have to have seen, have hard evidence in front of their eyes or on a camera or something that is you who committed a crime or you about to commit a crime. They can't just walk up to you and everything, give me your ID right now. If an officer asks you for your ID, you have to ID. No, you do not. Don't let them violate your rights. Know your, know your rights. Know your constitutional rights, people. Okay? Officer can't just open your door and everything if he pull you over. Even if it's for a traffic stop, and you know, like I said, a, uh, a tail light out and everything, he can't just open your door. He has no right to and everything to order you out of the vehicle. And yet what they do is, again, back to the uh, police per jury and everything, what they do, they say, oh, we smell odor of marijuana. We smell alcohol and everything. No damn well they lying. They make up stuff and everything for them to have a reason to search through your vehicle. You damn cops know what they're doing. Okay? So I'm just telling you and everything. You got to watch them. These ain't the, I'm sorry. Uh, when it comes to police, man, again, the ones that apply to. And everything, I ain't talking about all cops. But when it comes to cops and everything, I understand something and everything. All, uh, every man and woman that put on a badge ain't a cop. A lot of them put on that badge and everything. They think they Superman or Super or Wonder Woman. I'm just telling you and everything. You got a lot of these cops that be on a tyrant. They let that authority go to their head. They figure they can just do whatever the hell they want to you. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. Understand something and everything. If a cop yanking you out of the vehicle and he is not telling you why he's doing everything, that's a problem. A cop has the legal right. He has to tell you, what am I being arrested for? Why are you yanking me out of the vehicle? Again, if you ain't ran nobody over, if you ain't in a high-speed chase, if you ain't robbed the liquor store, if you ain't stole somebody out of the convenience store, if you ain't committed no crimes of that nature, why the hell are you yanking me out of the vehicle? And I tell you something else, I've been seeing this a lot and everything. All this, you know, you have a right. If a cop pulls you over for a traffic violation and everything, and you want to say, I want to pull over to a well-lit area and everything, understand something. Here's the problem with that. If you feel the area is unsafe, meaning unsafe for you or may you just call yourself being not nice and friendly and everything and being unsafe you know pull into a better area that'd be safe for the officer and everything i'm gonna put it to you like this worry about your own safety because they only worry about their safety understand some all cops have body cams and all cops have when they have uh body cams with recorders on there and audio okay all understand get you a body cam you can get one Get you a body cam and everything. Not just your phone, but get you a body cam and everything. Where you can really showcase how ignorant these damn police are. Because some of these cops and everything don't know the law. So a lot of them are rookies. They just uh, just throw them a badge and send them out there. So I'm just telling you and everything. Do not let these policemen fool you. Do not let uh, these policemen get away with just treating you any kind of way. i tell you another thing. Uh, something else I saw. They had a guy who uh, had pulled over, did everything, there I go again, did everything the officer told him to do. He showed, I think he put one for expired tags. Gave him his ID, proof of insurance, blah, blah, blah. Now all of a sudden the officer, it went from, um, it went from a, uh, a simple traffic violation because he had expired tags. Now all of a sudden the officer say, I smell marijuana in the vehicle. 
there was agents following you following you talking about the guy that was in the car it was agents following you and everything drug agents they would find out that you were doing drugs or something they make up this shit and everything to mess with you and predominantly they do this stuff and everything to black men that's what I said and everything brothers and everything be careful about us being so flashy be careful about being so flashy because when you're so flat, I mean, nice car, rims and all that and everything, when you find yourself in the wrong part of town, depending on who you are, you find yourself in the wrong part of town, a cop gonna pull you, ain't no if, this is America, a cop gonna pull you over. They gonna pull you over. And they gonna figure out and everything, you know, what you do for a living. Where you going? Where you coming from? None of your damn business. Understand some. you have a right to not open your mouth and say one thing to that cop. I don't care what's going on. You have a right plead that. You know, you've heard of the soul, the all familiar phrase, I plead the fifth. Don't ever say nothing that's going to incriminate yourself. Okay? That's what they're looking for. Oh, you can talk to me, man. You know we're good friends. Bullshit. Be the main nigga sitting up there testifying against your ass in court. So I'm just telling you, you got to be careful. These cops trying to, they will lie. They will lie like hell in that police report. And ain't nobody going to listen to you. And nobody gonna believe you. Especially, understand something. If you have a criminal past, I'm speaking to my brothers right now. If you have a criminal past, okay, if a cop pull you over for whatever incident, and he start, you know, either with the race crap or start acting hostile with you, whatever that cop does to you, whether he hurts you or even go as far as kill you, even if you're not acting a fool with him, he acting hostile, throwing you on the ground, kneeing you in the back and all that and everything. Understand something. They're going to try to use your past against you. They try to justify the officer's behavior. Remember, on the news, they only show us acting a fool. They only show us fighting with the cop. They only show us shooting at the cop. They never show the damn cop picking and messing with people. They don't never show that shit. So I'm just telling you and everything. Cops are not your friends. Please be understanding of that. I don't care how cool they are, how nice they seem to be. Understand something. They took an oath. And if that means dragging your ass down to jail, damn it, so be it. So I'm just telling you, not all cops are bad. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying all cops are bad. I'm saying you just be careful of what you say to them. Because they will try to use that shit against you. Remember, they're thinking cop-minded. Okay? Now... Another thing, they can ask you to step out of the car if they believe that they have witnessed a crime going on. Like I say, I can't stress this enough. If you refuse to get out of your car, you have a lawful right. You do not have to get off and get out of your car and then the cop don't have, you know, again, reasonable suspicion. You don't have probable cause and everything to get you out of the car and everything. You can't, you, you have a right to stay in your car. A cop can't, don't let a cop walk up and open up your door. You do not to open your door for a cop and everything if you ain't done nothing wrong. Remember, he pulling you over. If he ain't see you shot somebody or, again, robbed somebody, a mug or old lady and everything, you don't get no business opening the door. If you open the door, you shut the door. And tell him, don't open my door. Know your rights. And the problem is with these asshole cops out here, when they find out that you know your rights and everything, they want to get more of a tyrant and start messing with you. Start picking at you. Because they figure, I'm a police, I can do whatever the hell I want to. Look at them, the black Marine, the brother there. Uh, yeah, got pulled over and everything was a lieutenant. Forget the man's name. They pepper sprayed him. They wanted, ordered him out of the car. He went and parked over to a well-lit area and everything, which I can understand. First of all, the brother that served in this country. He would have parked over and everything. Y'all remember it. It's all a couple years ago. He would have parked on a um, well-lit area for his safety and for the cop's safety. Understand something, the cop ain't worried about your safety. They a damn lie. They ain't worried about your safety, they worry about their safety. Their safety first. So if you wanna park on the side of the highway and all these cars flying about 70, 80 miles an hour, shit, I'll park right on over there. Now, if you unsafe about where you park and everything, understand something. The way that they did this brother, he parked into the gas, he pulled into the gas station and everything, and they got guns drawn. Get out of the damn car now. I think you they said he drove for about another mile or something before he pulled over. 
You got to understand some, some cops, not all, but some cops for the ones to apply to and everything, they be trying to own that race shit. A lot of cops be on that race shit. They try to do something dirty to you and everything with nobody watching and get away with it. Believe it or not and everything, there have been multiple times cops have dropped drugs on black, particularly black men and got them falsely arrested. For that very reason, you got cops that to do that. And something else they try to do, if they gonna, again, violate your rights and everything, and they wanna sit up here, excuse me, and have you step away from the car, get, order you all out of the car and everything, and then have a dog or something come by and try to see if he sniff drugs. No damn well ain't no drugs in that car. But they figure that they can do that because they're police officers. Don't don't take your eyes off that cop. The one that's searching the car and everything, don't take your eyes off that cop. You're going to have cops that, remember, you're a black man. You're going to have a multiple cops show up on the scene, and they're going to try to get your ass away from there so you can't see what that damn cop's doing. They would drop drugs on your ass. And if they, if you, again, if you don't see them, it's your word against this. They're going to write up on a report that you had drugs on you. Who going to believe you? You're a black man. Who going to believe you? So I'm just telling you, you watch these damn police officers. All of them ain't right. All of them don't protect and serve. Bullshit. A lot of them and everything all come to work with an agenda. Tom's too. You got a lot of Uncle Tom cops out here. So I'm just telling you and everything. Be cognizant of that. The police are not your friend. Yeah, what anybody say. They mess with you. They pick at you. They do shit to you. They try to provoke you into anger. They talk crazy to you. Try to start shit with you. Trust me, I've dealt with them. Ain't none never throw me to the ground. That's something else and everything. Why do, if you stand up with your hands and everything, why I got to get all the way on the ground for you to pull me back up again? I don't understand that. See, that's what says that ego shit with them. I got to take them to the ground and show the world and everything. I, I'm big and bad. And you ain't done nothing wrong. Remember, if you hurt them, they'll send a whole army of cops after you. But if they hurt you, hey, unless you got evidence, that's what I mean, always have your camera. Anytime you a cop pull you over, have a camera running. Have a camera running. Have multiple cameras running. Make sure you notify somebody where you're at. They got bullshit if you want to. Cop, you got some lot of dirty ass cops out here. They'll hurt you, kill you. If ain't nobody around to see it, who gonna believe you? Only thing they gotta say, he reached for my gun. Oh, here's my favorite one. They get to grabbing you, throwing you out of the car for an unlawful reason, then talking about you resisting arrest and everything when they sit up there punching and kicking you. And got the nerve to talk about some protect and serve. Like I tell the people and everything, especially my uppity ass bougie people who don't know anything about what I'm talking about. You sure you want these, you sure you want these damn cops protecting your ass? All this racial profile shit they be doing, messing with black men, messing with black women. You sure you want these damn niggas protecting you? After all the lowdown shit that they do and get away with? Like I said. All cops now and everything have uh, body cameras. They when they stormed that house or apartment, whatever it was, where Brianna Taylor and her boyfriend is at, well, uh, was at and everything. They, uh, according to reports, the cops turned their body cameras off. They allegedly said the boyfriend shot at them. Here's my problem: if the boyfriend shot at you. Why the hell is Brianna Taylor dead then? I don't know about anybody else and everything. I know it's an unsolved case. Oh, and by the way, in case y'all didn't know, just you know, for the ones that think I'm bullshitting you, in case y'all didn't know, the officer that shot and killed Breonna Taylor, guess what? He's still on the force in Kentucky, and he got a promotion for doing it. You sure you want these damn people protecting you? I don't think so. How about the two people in Cleveland? The two black, the black man and black woman in Cleveland. I spoke about it before. A police thought that it was a gunshot. Now all of a sudden, a whole damn army of cops chasing after two people, only for them to later find out that they weren't armed. Even the dispatcher talking about, I hear them loading the gun. How the hell are you going to hear them loading the gun? 
You sure you want these damn niggas protecting you? I don't think so. <laughs> they shot at them over 130 times, y'all. Shot and killed these people. Shot at them over 130 times. Only to later find out they didn't even have a firecracker on them. But when we get killed, who give a damn? Just another nigga dead. I keep telling you. I don't understand. What about Tamir Rice? I want to hear about what his, all these damn times running around here talking about what his mama did do. His mama did. I don't want to hear that bullshit. There's a whole lot of boys got a toy gun. I had a toy gun before. Like I said, shot and killed him. Both of the cops right back to work. They got this administrative pay leave. In other words, pretty much I'm going to put you on a paid vacation till this shit blow over or till we finish the investigation. They right back to work. Tamir Rice is dead. Tell me. Again, you shoot and kill Tamir Rice. Get away with it. White boy up there in Denver, Colorado, come in with an AR-15, shoot and kill all these people. You tell him put the gun down. <laughs> Ain't no racism in America. Ain't no such thing as police brutality. Brandon, you just making that up. Yeah, okay. Oh, I got something else for you. Anybody familiar with everything what happened in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? I think it was 1995. Either 85 or 95, I can't remember. Anybody familiar with what happened? See, people kill me talking about these damn riots and shit, okay? Are you aware that police have been shot into their house? Oh, let me back up here. You may not know the story because you know they didn't put it in a history book. In 19, I keep thinking it's either 85 or 80, it's either 85 or 95 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and everything because of, it was a brother of John Af I think John Africa I remember it off the top of my head. He was pretty much, you no, know, let's simplify it, but he was pretty much standing up for what he believed. He stand up against the, uh, injustice. Him and the whole MOVE uh, program, they was you know, standing up against injustice. They were speaking about all the bullshit and everything. Like, it's not right. This, that, that, the other. You know America now. America, look this up. They were sending a bunch of policemen to shoot. They was pretty much sending tanks up there. The shooting kill of that whole neighborhood. Bombing people. This is America doing this shit. Again, you want these damn niggas protecting you? You really want to depend on a politician or ask nine policemen to protect you? Yeah, okay. Have brought tanks up there. Just shooting and bombing these damn people. And the ones they couldn't shoot or bomb, they sent firefighters to squirt water inside their house to try to drown them. And you have black mothers and black fathers trying to hold their kids up to keep from drowning. They don't tell you that shit, do they? House niggas ain't gonna tell you that, are they? They ain't gonna bring shit like that up. That shit get wiped from memory. Like I said, you sure you want America protecting you? You sure you wanna rely on a sign on the door to protect you? I'm gonna call 911, you break in my house. I ain't, you gonna need 911, not me. So I'm just telling you. Choice yours, man. You ain't gotta believe me, choice yours. Okay? Also, you cannot be punished for not answering a cop's questions. Like I said before, cop asks you questions, and you know it's some bullshit and you pretty much read the temperature in the room and everything, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't say a mumbling word to him. He cannot arrest you for not not uh, not talking. He can't. He or she can't. Again, have your body camera, always have your camera rolling. They try to, see what they try to do, if, you, if they ask you for ID, they try to say, oh, I'm gonna charge you with obstruction. How you gonna charge me with obstruction if they, you ain't even telling me why you pulling me over? And understand some of you guys, if a cop run your license plate and everything, and they see your picture of you, you're, you're the owner of the car, how they not know you? When a cop pulls you over and everything, and they go, they're go, they running your license plate, and they run your license plate and everything, and you're, let's say you're the owner of the car, how they not know who you are? 
if your picture on their of their computer in their patrol vehicle and they come up to you and you match that description, how the hell they not know who you are? You see what I mean? They play these games with you and they think you're too damn stupid to catch on. Okay? Remember, East State is different. Know your rights, you guys. Know your rights when you no matter no matter what state you live in, because all states are different. But understand this, know your rights when dealing with the police. I'm telling you, they will do shit to you, say shit to you, and they think they can get away with it. Then they try to use a sense of force, try to pepper spray you, yank you out of the car, and they do all this old lowdown shit and got the nerve to talk about why a damn nigga fighting back. So I'm just telling you, if you don't want to be a victim, I suggest you fight back. You don't want to just sit there, they can shoot and kill you and get away with it, I suggest you fight back. You want to end up? You don't want to end up like those two brothers, uh, that brother and that sister out in Cleveland, that got shot at over 130 times. I suggest you fight back. Trust yours, man. Remember, they kill you, they get away with it. They get away with it. Dead man can't talk. Dead woman can't talk. Tr uh, Trayvon Martin taught you that. Punk ass George Severman and everything. One man killed. Go start a fight with Trayvon Martin. He got mad because we getting his ass whooped by a kid. You pull out a gun and shoot me, and you mean to tell me his dad is a judge, and all of a sudden he walks free? But ain't no racism in America. Oh, you want your respirations? Uh-huh. Oh, how are you oppressed? Put on black skin, motherfucker, and you will find out how. <laughs> and people kill me who are non-black and talk all this shit. You're not black. How the hell do you understand? Black, brown, whatever the hell you want to call it. America know what they're doing. They've been doing it for decades. They've been doing it for centuries. Shooting, killing unarmed black men for no damn reason. Beating them to death. And getting away with it. Mm. Oh, you have a legal right also not to show ID. Now, I think I said that. Not to show officers show ID. You do not have to identify yourself and everything. No, you're right. If they pull you over, you ask them what you pulled me over for. All of a sudden, now I smell marijuana. Remember, I just told you about the uh, police perjury. They have, they have a right. It's an act and everything with police a lie. And the, here's what they do. When they find out you a black, when you a man, and everything that know your rights. And you 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 ain't buying their bullshit. All of a sudden, now they get to call and they call him back up. Two or three patrol cars show up. All oh, for what? For what? For aspire tags? Cause I got a tail light out. You calling all these cops here? Now all of a sudden you all of nowhere you smell alcohol. And then your dumb ass searched the vehicle and can't find nothing. These are niggas you want protecting you? I don't think so. <laughs> Twice is yours, man. Like I said, you guys know your constitutional rights, know your amendment rights and everything. Know your rights when you're dealing with the police. Okay? Again, a lot of cops, they're true to the badge. <clears throat> a lot of cops are true to the badge, but a lot of them are not. A lot of them are corrupt as hell. And they would do stuff and get away with it if you do not stop them. I'm going to put it to you like this and you take it for what it's worth and I'll be done here. Cop yanking you out the car, ain't telling you why, ain't, ain't giving you no reason or yanking you out of the car or picking at you and messing with you and everything. I don't know about you, but I'm going to just put it this way. You ain't hurting me, you ain't killing me without a fight. That's all I can say. Take that for what it's worth. Now, I'm not finna be in up like a statistic. You throwing me on the ground, kneeing me. Now nah, you lie, say I reach for your gun. Or you lie, say I tried to harm you. Never... Dead man can't talk. Understand something and everything. If he cannot prove that in front of the jury, that, uh, that you was doing all this crazy shit. Again, what pissed me off with cops, they grab you, they got a touch on you. Get to doing all this shit to you. Man, keep your hands to yourself. Don't be touching on me. You ain't telling me what's going on. 
And then when you, you know, knock their hand, when all of a sudden they're trying to grab you, now you resist an arrest. Now you assaulted a cop. That's that bullshit I be talking about. Choice is yours. Trust these damn bastards if you want to. I ain't. Check your code again. Check your visor code. Check all the damn things relates to law enforcement. Okay, they cannot just take your shit without your permission. They can't just go walk in your house without a search warrant. They can't just go get in your car you know, seize your, you know, search your car or seize your car without a warrant or probable call or reasonable suspicion. They can't just do that shit and get away with it. But if you don't know your rights, oh, I just get my ID. I mean, what's the problem? They can use that shit against you. I remember I had an incident. I had a cop held me up one time. I just dropped off my paperwork for a job I had years ago. He gonna come talking about and everything. Oh, all of a sudden we heard an alarm and everything. I need to see some ID. Me not knowing everything. I asked him, I said, who are you? He said, I asked him, who are you? He said, I'm, I'm with the, uh, what was it? Maple Heights police and everything. Yes, it's Ohio. That's where I'm from. And if they ain't from Maple, I'm just saying I'm from Ohio. But uh, so yeah, we, I need to see the ID and everything. Me not knowing that I didn't have to ID myself to you. I ain't committed no crime. I work at the facility. I got I clearly had the, both the vehicle and the paperwork in my hand from the place I worked at. Me not knowing. A cop cannot arrest you just because they want to. They got to have a reason. Not a made up reason. They're trying to make up a reason. But they got to have a reason why they just search. You see, they can't just do that. You violate my Fourth Amendment. You can't just take just take my shit and do whatever the hell you want with it without my consent. And something else, never give a cop your consent to search your shit. Never give a cop your consent to search your shit. Never. I don't give a damn if you are clean and everything. I don't care if you are, if you're not riding dirty and everything. Never give a cop access to your shit. Never. Oh, man, we just wanted to check it out, man. Bullshit. You're searching for something. You're searching for a reason to escalate a damn the traffic stop. You're searching for a reason to try to arrest me. Pay attention. Again, know your rights when you're dealing with police officers. Know your rights. Know your rights. Because if you don't know your rights and everything, you can find yourself in a world of trouble and don't even understand why. They do drop drugs on people. They do lie on a police report. They do all this crooked shit and try to get away with it. Have you a camera watching and make sure you let somebody know where you're at. If a cop pull you over, make sure you know. All right. It's red of 19, you guys. I'm just trying to tell you just a little bit of knowledge. Just a little bit about how to deal with policemen. Because they are corrupt as hell. They lie like hell. They do all low down shit you keep picking and messing with you. To try to provoke you to do something stupid. And then you do something stupid. Now that justifies them to either arresting you or killing you. And they get away with it. And remember, if you have a criminal record, they're going to use that against you, against you as well to try to justify the officer's behavior. Know this crooked system that we in. Remember, this is America, people. Know the system you in. All right? This is Red of 19. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Know your rights before it's too late. Peace.